in the YouTube thing. And um, anyway, everyone's voting now. Everyone's voting. Okay, they're all, I think it's four weeks to go. And uh, there's a lot of lies. There's a lot of lies being told. Okay, there's a lot of lies. Uh, they're going to do this and do that and all the rest of it. So it's all bullshit. Uh, Fraser Anning is about the best one. Yeah, yeah. Fraser Anning. Yeah. He's the only one that I would actually recommend. Um, the rest of them, no. None of them. One Nation and all that, no. They're all fucking frauds. They're all frauds, the whole lot of them. Um, but Fraser Anning, I actually do like. I actually do like him. I stand behind Fraser Anning or David Lynham. He was the other senator, David Lynham. But I don't know if he's up. You know, I don't know much about what's going on with him, but uh, you can vote for um, for Fraser Anning, and he's definitely worth it. Um, and they've really tried to paint him as a total fucking a total nut job. Uh, that's why people really should be voting for him because of all the negative. Uh, they don't, you know, what I mean, all you hear is negative shit about him, just negative, negative, negative. And uh, he doesn't follow the uh, UN Charter. He doesn't follow the UN Charter. See, they both follow the UN Charter. All of these fucking Greens and all of that, the Labor and all that bullshit, they all follow the UN Charter. They're not in charge. The UN are. They take their orders from the UN the Prime Minister and all that in regards to everything. Everything. And if you really think they're going to, they're going to bring in the minimum wage, uh, they're going to up the minimum wage, you're dreaming. Australians, you're fucking dreaming. That's all bullshit. And if you think they're going to bring back the um, uh, the penalty rates, yeah, you're really in fucking la la land, okay? <laughs> that ain't happening. That's just bullshit, okay? It's not going to happen. Um, and they're going to push the emissions down, and they're going to do this and do that because of climate change. You know, climate change. Like what a load of fucking shit that is. Anybody believes in climate change is a fucking idiot because that covers everything. That is absolutely anything. It goes up, it goes down. It's hot, it's cold, it's not, it's this. That's climate change. Fuck, we need you. To, we need your money. We need your money for that. I mean, I remember when I was a kid. First, it was um, it was global warming. First, it was global warming when I was a kid. The planet's going to fucking overheat and uh, all the ice caps are melting and all the fucking global warming. And uh, what it changed, it went to something else and then it went to climate change. So they've changed it, you know, throughout there just to suit whatever's, you know, whatever's the political, you know. Uh, the other thing of, that I was really um, a bit dirty on these politicians, that's why you can't trust them, is they've come out and called um, Christians, you know, they go to church, They've come out and called them Easter worshippers. Do you like that, ladies and gentlemen? So they're no, they're no longer Christians. They're just Easter worshippers. Easter worshippers. <laughs> Fucking hell! Even our own even our own politicians have, have come into that one. I wonder where that one came from. I wonder where that one came from. You know what I mean? Because uh, it came from somewhere. Because they're all using it. All of these fucking political people are all using that same phrase: Easter worshippers. Okay. So they've been told to say that. They've been they've been briefed to say that. So Christians are no longer Christians. They are just simply Easter worshippers. And if anything happens to those, you know, Easter worshippers, it doesn't really, you know, because they're just Easter worshippers. 